Howdy mates, how are we doing? Here's a part two video over at the Lemon Bay Environmental Park in Inglewood. Now, this video I actually want to do another demonstration of what can happen when tides change. So like right now, what we're seeing is a great example of a low tide. So, and this is probably the lowest I have seen it before. So, with that being said, this isn't as ideal for uh, kayaking conditions at all. <laughs> so, with that being said, you know, for the time of the day that it is, it's reasonable that it would be low tide. And as I've mentioned before, Florida has semi-diurnal tides, you know, which basically refer to a, it's like a 24 hour and 50 minute cycle in which Florida, in this case, has two high tides and two low tides. Now you may be wondering, why, why does it include the 50 minutes? Well, Think of it this way, you know, the earth rotates in a counterclockwise rotation, or counterclock, I can't even talk, a counterclockwise direction, now on its axis. Now the moon also rotates around the earth also in a counterclockwise position. The thing is, the Earth rotates on its axis a little faster than how the Moon rotates around the Earth. So basically, or it might be the other way around, either way, it basically takes 50 minutes for our position on the Earth to catch up with the Moon. So now that I say that, I think the moon's rotation around the Earth is faster. So, that is why when any of you learn about, you know, tides, that's why that 50 minutes is always attached to it. But, yeah, I'm just surprised how far out this is because personally I've never seen it this far out but you can definitely see like we're predominantly standing on sand that's the typical soil type of a bay or I should say of an estuary so I figure while I'm actually out here here's an opportunity to actually point out some uh, our fellow marine homies. Now, though you can't really see the pattern of the shell that much, but based on the shape of this gastropod here, this is a banded tulip. Now, if you look real closely, like right there, you can see some of the bands in its shell. And they call it a banded tulip because when you actually look at a tulip flower, just before it blooms, it has a very similar shape to the shell here. Now, you may be wondering like, are these gastropods dying? Well, I'm sure some of them do because you know, they may go for a while without being in the water. But the thing is, tides here can change so quickly that, you know, these could indeed still be alive. Yeah. I figure while I'm out here too, I stumbled upon something that really stood out to me. Here we go. You guys ready? This is going to be really cool. So, 
right here, you see this spiral. Some of you may be wondering, like, what in the world is this? Well, this is basically an egg capsule for a well-known gastropod called lightning whelks, which I've pointed out before, lightning whelks have a sinestral, uh, sinestral freaking hair, won't get out of the way. They have a sinestral shell arrangement. So instead of the opening of the shell being on the right, a lightning whelk has a shell that opens to the left. But here, these eggs are usually anchored into the sand and each little capsule here, like each little opening, carries eggs. So this is, this is really cool to see. Kind of reminds you of looking at curly fries from Arby's. <laughs> but yeah. You have to figure, these probably carry thousands, if not millions, of individual tiny lightning whelk eggs. And actually right here, I believe this one's still alive. This is actually something called a spider crab. There are another native species of crustacean found in Florida. Now, they call it a spider crab because most crustaceans are considered decapods, which means they usually have 10 limbs. But this crab is a bit more unique in knowing that instead they have eight limbs similar to that of a spider that has eight and they just you know just looking at their body just reminds you of looking at a spider you know just based on their morphology so yeah it's quite neat it's also at the same time point out some of our fellow homies that are out here but yeah you figure you come here a little later in the day give it another few hours all this of where i'm standing on is going to be completely underwater so it just goes to show how quickly it can really change out here so all right you guys thanks for watching and please let me know if you want you have any questions and by the way, I will post an article or two in regard to, you know, lightning whelks and a little bit about the spider crab. So, all right, you guys, enjoy your Sunday. And once again, journey on a journey is outwards. Take care, folks. See ya.